One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Welcome back. This Saturday, July 20th, is the 50th anniversary of what is arguably the greatest accomplishment in the history of the human race. When astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed their descent module on a smooth and level area that was part of the lunar sea of tranquility and then set foot on the surface of the moon. For those of us who saw it unfold on television, we will never forget it. An accomplishment for the ages. Dr. Edwin Krupp is director of the Griffith Observatory. He's been at the observatory at in that role as director for the past 45 years. Thank you very much for joining us. Just a pleasure. So um, you started at the Griffith very early in your <laughs> life, but where were you 50 years ago this week? I was in Ojai, California at the Thatcher School with a group of 30 hotshot high school science students. They were studying astrophysics, celestial navigation as all part of a jump start toward their college career. And we watched that landing with my father who came up because he had been a, an engineer on the project. So you're, you're, you grew up in this. I did. Your, your father worked for uh, Boeing, Rocketdyne? Ro Rocketdyne. He, he, that's why he came to California. He told me when I was a kid he didn't want to go to the moon, but he wanted to push the button and he kind of got to do that. And we should point out while we're on that subject that the the influence of Southern California industry on this mission was enormous, more than any other region in the country. Absolutely huge. Uh, Southern California, Aerospace Central, of course. And the, the fact is that the major contractor was here, but lots of other people, smaller companies that would produce uh, car artifacts for the thing and, and components, all were part of this. And of course, it was a national effort as well that extended across the country. Let's talk about the Griffith Observatory. A lot of people don't appreciate the fact that the astronauts actually went there to study celest celestial navigation. They did. Uh, you know, you have to be able to find your way back if something goes wrong with the systems on which you're depending. And so instead of, of just saying, well, our systems are going to work, astronauts came to Griffith Observatory to sit under the stars of the, the planetarium theater and, and look out through a very tiny hole in a mask. They were reclining in kind of like a, a patio lounge and looking up at the stars and testing themselves with the director of the observatory uh, to, to be able to recognize them with, with very few clues. And that would enable them, if they had to, uh, by, by manual technique, figure out where they were and where they had to go to be able to make their return and descent. When people ask you about the importance of this anniversary. What do you tell them? You know, obviously it's a huge technical achievement for, for human beings and a, and a great triumph for, for American will and technology and the ability to organize a complex project. Unprecedented. But in fact, there's even a broader picture here. This is the first time in the history of this planet, four and a half billion years it took, and then organisms from Earth willingly left this world to go to another. I mean, we don't know of any place else where that happened in the universe yet. And the amount of technology in your watch, in an Apple watch, is far greater than what existed in the spacecraft. Yeah, I I think we'd be afraid to go now with, with the technology that they relied on then. And, and of course, uh, some of the technology they relied on obviously was in the human brain. I mean, the, those, those guys that went there knew what they were doing and, and kept, kept that. How important was that mission to the technological advancements of the next 50 years? We take for granted all the things around us. Uh, the, everybody walks around with a phone that's really a, a mini computer, and that stuff wouldn't exist if it were not for the, 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 the technical ignition that occurred with this major effort. Space exploration isn't just space exploration. It, it's a kind of a catalyst for all kinds of other endeavors. The, the scientific research is, is multi-tentacled and interweaves with each other, and the space program was, was extraordinary in, in making that get fired. And after that, people were talking about going to Mars, putting a person on Mars, but now we're talking about going back to the moon, which it seems to me is a, a lot easier since we've already been there. Well, it's, it's easier than going to Mars, that's for sure. Whether it's easier or not, it's a whole different thing. Uh, I'm sort of of the, the opinion that uh, if we can get there, we should go, and it doesn't matter whether it's the moon or Mars. We need to go to all those places. Uh, how you do it, what the sequence is, how you engineer that and plan that, uh, that is for the experts to decide. But it's good that people are talking about both of these now. They are things that we can and should do. Let's talk about uh, the real star of Hollywood, which is your observatory. I go up there now, and I, it is amazing how many 
people visit that your establishment. It is more popular today than it has ever been in its history. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, I, I think uh, we really do deserve a star on the boulevard. You know, certainly we've been in more movies than a lot of the people that are on the boulevard. <laughs> That's so. true. But, but in fact, uh, that, that fulfills Griffith J. Griffith's original wish. I mean, he went up to Mount Wilson, looked through the telescope, wanted all mankind to look through that telescope. They couldn't, so he built his own. And he wanted everybody to have a chance to come to a public observatory, and that's what the place is, and it's known worldwide. What do you want people to remember from this anniversary? I think the most important thing to remember is that we actually did this, and you can keep doing stuff. Uh, people forget just how extraordinary this is and, and that idea of, of taking the risk and going and reaching for it. Edwin Krupp of the Griffith Observatory, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to see you. Bye. Thank you. I'll have some final comments after this.